Okay, originally this was uh, the Christine Stingray remake, uh, e-bike. Uh, it has since taken some changes. Um, this was originally just going to be one of those um, builds where it kind of looks like an original and it was supposed to be hidden that it was an electric and you can see there's a bag there and um, you can see the motor but on the old ones they had uh, a drum brake up front and this one actually has the controller still under the seat. I have uh, changed the bike quite a bit and I'm going to post that in another video because I didn't mix it with this one. I wanted to show you what I did do and then uh, the next video is going to show the, um, how do I put it? It's a low rider now, um, and it's really low. Uh, I removed the spring from the front fork, dropped it, leaned the for handlebars forward. I've removed the original shifter and speedometer. Um, I put a different seat on it. Uh, the battery and bag, if I did the video now, is not um, connected. I did get another Vesk V2 uh, Mini, and... Um, the bike goes about 20 miles an hour. It's pretty, um, how do I say it? It's ballless. It, uh, it needs a 48 volt battery. It's got a 750 watt motor. Uh, and it, um, really, yeah, just, I, it need, I, if I could do even more voltage, I would. I, I'm afraid to do it. And there's not enough room for batteries on this thing. It was, uh, I called this project the finale. I built a lot of things and I was done and so um, yeah it does uh, it does have a rear foot brake it's worthless um, when you can't pedal it because it's so low now um, the bike ended up taking so many forms and it, as a finale build I wanted it to be exactly what I wanted and it just kept not happening and I was up near a thousand dollars in multiple controllers multiple battery configurations and it just wasn't paying off and I knew that I needed more voltage. I knew it, and I knew I needed more ampage. The, uh, voltage gives you the speed, ampage gives you the balls. Um, and the ampage is just really low with the voltage I have. I, the batteries are so small um, that I used that. And then I, I ruined a boosted board battery. It caught fire, um, removing it to put in this one. Then, um, I, I built several batteries that just didn't fit. I ordered a battery that was $300. I sent it back. It was too big. Uh, all in all, I hate this project. Um, and, and anybody that wants this bike, let me know after you see the second version. This version, this version's cool. It was fun while it lasted. It's uh, old school, um, just goofy. And the other, the new one is just flat out cool. Uh, it's so low, so stretched, and um, and I want it to stretch a little more. I'm going to remodify the fork to drop it even further. I'm going to put a bag on it, a, a pseudo bag. It's going to be an actuator, so you can actually get over curbs and stuff, because it is um, it will be so low that the pedals won't move. If I can get smaller pedals for it, say a crank set off of a kid's bike and put it on there, give it maybe 110 crank arms. Um, these, I think, are 125 or 130. Um, you could pedal it, but it won't go much. Um, but this is an idea of what I did do. The If I didn't say it earlier, if it wasn't in the video, the shifter is a 1969 three-speed on the tree. Uh, they called it a 333 or a tree three or a three three or a tri three, something like that. It's made by Shimano and it is an original. It came in a bag, brand new, uh, new old stock. Uh, the speedometer is an original Stingray speedometer uh, uh, from 1973, I think, somewhere around there. Uh, those things were cool, and that was my idea. Um, the shifter was going to be a switch to control the speed of the electric motor. Uh, failed. Uh, didn't do it. Um, drilled holes in the frame for all the wiring. Um, I won't do that again. It was stupid because it's front wheel. I could have put everything up front somewhere in a bag or made a nameplate or something. Um, so that was dumb, uh, but the battery, original battery, three of the original batteries have been in the rear of the bike, uh, and it, it just didn't, it didn't pan out. But I wanted to show everybody this build, um, can maybe inspire somebody to do a better one. I would like to put a gas engine on one of these, and I'll show you the pictures of the build of the second version, 
or third version or fourth. Well, I got cut off there, so um, it's a little bleep in the uh, voice there. Um, I don't know where I was at. Anyway, the new build is uh, way cooler, a lot of fun to ride. People stop me all the time when I'm on it. Um, I want to do a gas engine on one of these. I want to do a Dragula, um, and you'll see why when you see the next one. I want to put some drag forks on it and a parachute and wheelie bars and and make it like a 125cc, even maybe with a front engine like this one or a front motor like this one has to uh, get you started, start the motor, and then just take off. Um, I, I don't know. It, it was a build. It's over, um, sort of. I've still got to put the battery and everything back on. I think I still have some footage from it, and I'm going to post that right after this video, so stick around. Um, please subscribe. I'm trying to get um, up to a point on this YouTube stuff. I haven't tried very hard, so it's not anybody's fault but mine. But um, I would like to uh, get some subscribers so I can uh, get some, some stuff from some people to do some builds like this better. Uh, maybe get sponsorships or something. I don't know. I'm really not into the money side of it. I don't know how much you can make from YouTube. Um, I started a drone business, so I'm going to be spending a lot of time on that. I started working at a bike shop as a tech, um, so that'll help me get some of these parts uh, less expensive than what I've been paying for them. Um, not that this bike was at a bike shop. This bike was at Walmart. Uh, let's see. What else do I want? Oh, I did get another electric bike, and I'll probably be building another one, a folding one with possibly the motor that's on this one. So this one might find its demise. Uh, let's see, what else do I wanna say? Um, yeah, please subscribe, check it out. Um, check out the next video of this, uh, part two of the Stingray e-bike. I will uh, try to be a little bit more informative on what I've done. It's not hard. This was a kit from Amazon or eBay, one of the two. Uh, it worked. And it does go 20, it continually goes 20 with a little battery, it'll just cruise along. I, you couldn't do anything else because if it dies, you, you can't pedal it on uh, the new one. This one you could, but you don't, you don't want to pedal it. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys liked it. I know it's in black and white. I did some stupid YouTube, or not, excuse me, iMovie thing, whatever. Uh, I, I'll try not to do that in the next one. I, I'm just playing around, trying to get some things going. Anyhow, hope you like it. Check out the next version. Bye.